Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping by my channel. I was not going to film today. I really am super short on time, but I'm a little bit perturbed, to be honest. Um, I have been having some Twitter battles and some Facebook battles uh, this morning, and they've got me quite a bit fired up. And I thought, you know what? The best way to deal with these people who are against guns, against the Second Amendment, um, politicians running for governor of Virginia, I won't say any names, <clears throat> Ralph Northam, um, yeah, people like that um, have got me really quite angry today, so I thought I'm going to get on here and I'm going to film a gun video or a gun related holstery video as I normally do. I feel like I have a pretty good opportunity with this channel to be, you know, promoting concealed carry and promoting uh, especially women carrying guns. I think by making these videos and other people like me that make gun related videos, I think it really helps normalize carrying a gun. Um, Cause you know, especially a person like me, I don't look scary. I look like, you know, your typical person that you would see walking around. You know, I could be your neighbor. I could be your kid's teacher. I could be anybody in your community. I'm just a normal person who believes in the ability to protect ourselves and I think that's incredibly important. I've lived in a foreign country where guns are banned. I lived in England for three years. I know what it's like to not have the ability to protect myself. Here's a little rant I'm going to go on before I get into this video because I am actually going to show you some holsters. So I was in DC the other day visiting a friend and of course I can't carry my gun in DC because you know they'd rather me be a victim. So I had pepper spray in my purse and I carry pepper spray all the time because you know in those off chances in those places where I can't legally carry a gun um, I'd like to have something. I'd like to have some sort of chance. So I get to the American History Museum and when you get to the Smithsonian Museums you have to do a bag check. So I give them my purse, they go through my bag, I go through the scanner thing, everything's fine. And then I realize that the friend I'm meeting up with is on the other side of the building. And so I go through the building, out the front doors or out the back doors, whatever they are, meet up with my friend and then go to come back into the museum. Again I have to do the purse check and the second time they see the pepper spray and they made me throw it away. Like, come on DC, get your shit together. This is really sad. Um, so yeah, that's my rants. I'm really fired up about it. Uh, I really don't like places and people who don't want me to be able to protect myself. Don't like it one bit. If you've got a ranty story like this and you want to tell me about it down below, please do so because I am right there with you and I would love to have some more discussions about this. Maybe this needs its own video, but like I said, I really don't have a whole lot of time. So that's enough of my rant for today. Let's move on to the actual holsters. All right, so today I wanted to talk about belly bands. I have shown this one in a couple of my videos already, but I do have two other belly bands that I haven't shown or talked about. And they're all different in little ways, so I wanted to talk about some of those differences and talk about different price points and if any of those things actually matter, if the differences actually matter or, you know, if an expensive one is better or a cheaper one. So let's just get into it. All right, so here is your typical elastic belly band. This is an incredibly common belly band. I believe the very first belly bands ever made were of this material. Um, this, not this particular one, but this kind of belly band is what I wore every day for the first two years that I carried. Um, this is the only holster I had, was a belly band holster. It worked with the majority of my outfits. It was very easy to put on and to use. It, it can go with lots of different kinds of guns. So if you are a person who likes to switch your guns out, it's great. This one in particular is really awesome because it was only $10 on Amazon. Uh, so yeah, if you were on a budget and you were looking for something inexpensive to carry your gun in, definitely try a belly band. You can wear this with skirts and shorts and jeans. Uh, 
So yeah, it's very versatile in how you can wear it. And you can also wear it higher up on your belly to where your gun is kind of sitting up here like a corset style. I have a video showing a belly band like that if you're interested. But yeah, these are great. Great, great, great. I think everyone should have one. And I will leave links to the belly bands that I show down below. The only real downside to this one is the pocket. It's kind of small. I don't know if you can see the pocket there, how it's sewn. But um, I can carry my Glock 43 and the Ruger LCP and the Ruger LCR in this just fine. But my husband's 40 does not fit in here. So he has a Springfield XDX and it is too big. So that's something to pay attention to when you're shopping for a belly band. Make sure that it has an opening that's big enough for the gun that you carry. Here's how this belly band looks on and I'm wearing it with my Glock 43. All right, we are moving up in price just a little bit. This is a neoprene belly band holster. So the material is different from the elastic one. If you can see, that's what it's like on the back and on the front, it's kind of like soft and fuzzy. And this one in particular is really easy to get just the right size that you want because the Velcro pad sticks to all of this. So it's really easy to adjust to make it tighter or looser. So this belly band is a little bit thicker than the elastic one, um, but it's very soft and comfortable. And again, though, with this one, it has kind of a small pocket here. So this one, I have a hard time getting the Glock to fit in there very well, but it comes with this retention strap if you're interested in that sort of thing. And this retention strap isn't a Velcro one. It, it has like a little hook that clips into there which I really don't like because I don't want to have to be fumbling with a hook to get the gun out. So I just kind of like tuck this back. And a lot of belly bands also come with extra pouches for, you know, extra magazines, things like that. This one in particular only has this one extra pouch right here, but I've seen belly bands that, you know, are pretty covered in pouches to where you could really light something up if you had to. This one, I believe, was about $16 on Amazon. Most of the neoprene ones that I have found are about $20 and under. So the elastic ones are about $10. That's as cheap as I've seen them. The neoprenes you can get for $20 or under. And here is this one. You can see how easy it is. You can just uh, adjust and put the gun wherever you want it. Um, so I just move this to the front to show you what it looks like. So there you have it. And with my shirt down, I'm concealed. Now you guys have seen this one quite a few times on my channel. This is the Hidden Heat Lace Belly Band. Um, this one is much thinner. The fabric or the material is a whole lot thinner, so it's very light and breathable. This belly band is the most expensive one I own. I wanna say I got this for around $40. Um, I think maybe it's because of the lace detail on it. It's a little bit more expensive. But if you are a girly girl and you want something that's a little bit prettier to wear, this is definitely the one for you. Like the other ones, it has extra pockets on it. This one has two magazine pockets here and then a larger pocket here for like your cell phone or something. Um, but yeah, I really like this one now and I would recommend it. One more thing I wanna add about belly bands is that I think all of them, I don't think I've come across a belly band that has a um, trigger guard actually in it, like built into it. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know. But the majority of belly bands don't come with a trigger guard. Now you can buy a trigger guard to put in here, or you can actually put a small Kydex holster into your belly bands and attach it with Velcro on the inside. I have a whole video talking about that down below. So if you wanna make these a little bit safer, you can totally do that. And here's the latest one, my personal favorite. There you go, that's how it looks. So that is all the belly bands that I own. I think three is probably enough. Uh, there are a whole lot more out there. The, the choices are limitless and they range in all kinds of prices. So you can go from $10, um, I think the most expensive one I've seen is $80 and that's the Can Can Concealment one. Not really sure why that one costs $80. Uh, it is nicely made. I've seen it at a couple gun shows, but it 
does the same thing as these cheaper ones do. So yeah, you don't feel like you have to splurge and get the most expensive holster out there. You can typically find holsters that work just as well and are very reasonably priced. All right guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I wanna thank you guys so much for bearing with me with my little rant. I try not to get ranty on this channel. I haven't brought up politics or anything at all, but I was highly annoyed today and I just felt like I needed to talk to my people. So thanks for listening. If you guys wear belly bands, let me know how you like them down below. If you have a certain brand that you really like, please leave a link for it so everyone else can check it out. And I hope you all have a great week and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.